Ciao everybody, this is Matteo from Milan, Italy. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today's video is going to be um, a disaster. So I'll tell you the background story so that you understand why it was such a disaster for me. So a few weeks ago I was talking to an amazing artist whose name is Annemieka and she's from the Netherlands and uh, you can follow her on Instagram. Her Instagram page is called Black Paper, please. She is very into black and white paper. Uh, she makes amazing artworks, you have no idea. And uh, we were talking on Zoom and she showed me uh, one of her pieces. She made a booklet made only with um, pieces of paper, any kind of paper, any kind of cardboard. Um, the paper was totally torn apart. It had no um, regular shape and it was unbelievable to see that uh, something with no shape was shaped into a fabulous book. So I just wanted to give it a try because it was, it is not my thing. So I just wanted to step out of my comfort zone and I made a total mess. That's why I have added the epic fail title to this video because this is the booklet I came out with and uh, this is the result. Some of you may find it interesting, some of you may find it funny, but it is absolutely not my thing. It is not, uh, let's say, precise, um, not having a regular shape uh, on which to work. I totally lost my uh, references, my usual references, and this is the final result. I promised her that I was going to try to use uh, black and white paper only, but I added all of the things that I had around the house. There is parchment paper, there are pieces of book, there is a sewing pattern, there is there are these scraps of uh, cardboard and brown paper bags and anything. So this is a total disaster for me and uh, I hope that she will be happy about the fact that at least I tried to be a little uh, anemica, but I didn't make it. And uh, my suggestion is to check out her artworks on her uh, Instagram page. And now let's see the mess I've made to make this booklet. So here we are. As you can see, I have collected all of the stuff that I was going to throw away. Uh, there is no straight edge at all. Um, before I start, I want to apologize for the noise in the background, but like I have already said, probably in the intro of this video, there are men at work in the apartment behind mine, so there's going to be a lot of noise in the background. So, um, now I have uh, collected this stuff that I was going to throw away, there is any kind of paper, there is the cloth that I use to clean my, my brush. There's these um, paper with plastic that we put bread into. There is parchment paper and other pieces of paper from previous projects. So I want to start making the signatures. In fact, as you can see, I have already folded every piece of paper in two. And another important thing that I want to tell you is that, as usual, if I have a sturdy piece of paper like this cardboard, I am going to let this on the outside of the signature, so that is going to make the signature sturdier. So I'll move on randomly making the signatures with these random pieces of paper. And let's see what happens. So here I have my signatures. I have mm, placed a paper clip here. Now I'm going to unclamp them all. 
So I remove the paper clips and I try to align them somehow, even because they are not uh, equal, they're not even, they are 100% irregular, they go wherever they want to. So I just try to align them as best as I can. Anemieke, I know you are going to hate me, but this is how I do things and this is not my comfort zone. This is galaxies away from my comfort zone. Okay. Perfect. Now let's clamp them all together. And let's trace the lines where we are going to punch the holes for our stitches and I have to insist on the black cardboard of course so this is one and two I think I'm gonna make five okay so I hope that you can see the signs that I have left, so I unclamp them and I'm taking my owl to punch the holes. So I open them one by one, trying to make sure that I'm not moving the paper inside. So this one is not open, let's open it. Okay. So let's make one, two, three, four, and five. And the first one is done. We set it aside and we do the same thing on the other ones too. So now I have punched holes in all of my signatures and I have prepared my needle with my waxed linen thread and as I have already shown in many of my previous videos I am going to start the stitching and the binding of the book. I'm not going to show you the entire process of that because I have shown it so many times. Okay and it is always the same thing, it doesn't change. So I'm going to show you just the first one and then I will continue off camera. Okay, then the third hole and go back from the fourth hole and inside again from the fifth hole. Okay, now let's re-enter the fourth hole and go back to the beginning so that we can tie a knot. And again, make sure that the thread is nice and tight. Okay, and now that we are here, we tie a knot to secure everything. Okay, perfect. Let's double knot. Okay, and now we continue adding the second signature, as I have already shown in my previous videos. So you're free to go and watch them. They are always available. So let's start from here. Okay, so I have finished my stitching and I believe this is the worst book binding I've ever done. It is a super total mess. And now all I want to do is to hide this shame because <laughs> I am really ashamed of the result. So I am going to clamp the pages together. I'm going to spread some wood glue on here, on the spine of the book. 
Okay. And as usual, I'm going to put some fabric on it. Oh, it's very sticky today. Okay, and I'm going to add some more wood glue on the surface of the fabric too. Okay, and I set this aside to dry. So this is going to be a hardcover book. So I took this piece of um, very thick cardboard and I'm going to, to draw um, what my um, main cover is going to be big like and I think it's going to be big like so. So let's see how much it is. Okay, let's make 13 centimeters. Okay, and 13 centimeters here too, so that we can draw upper size line. Okay, and there we go. And let's see how tall I want this cover to be. Okay, I can... Oh, sorry, I think I hit the camera. I think I can do something like this. So let's see how much it is. 13 and a half. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm going to cut two of these and I'll be back. So now I have my front and back cover. I have to cut the, um, the part of cardboard for the spine. And I have to understand how thick it is going to be. So I am going to draw a line see the thickness okay so this is more or less the thickness of the spine and I'm going to cut this as well so now that we have our cardboard we can think of what our cover is going to look like so I have this recycled Amazon huge envelope and I'm going to fold it in two and let's see how much I am going to need of it. So I want to remove this part because it is full of the Amazon glue. So let's make one, two and there is the other little piece of the spine i can't find okay here it is so let's say that i'm going to use a piece this big okay let's set these aside and we bring back our mod podge and we are going to do this paper so let's do it okay. great so the glue is down I want to crumple the paper while it is damp And I reopen it. This paper, it's super sturdy. And I'm going to crumple it one more time. Okay. And now I am going to protect my table with some parchment paper. And I'm going to color this paper 
with some black. I want it to be total black because I have made a promise to Anemieke that I was going to use her favorite colors, which, like I said before, are black and white. I'm going to remove some of these excess. Okay, so I think I need to add some more Mod Podge right here on the edge. Perfect. So, let's go with the black. This is a brand new bottle of color that I have. Okay, and let's go. Okay, now we can set this aside to dry and then we will complete our book. Okay, now the black paint is rather dry and I can start positioning the cardboards on the inside of the cover. So, yes, this should be okay. So I am using a wood glue to do this. So let's do it. Okay. Great, now I am going to cut some of the exceeding paper away so that I can fold it easily in the inside. Wow, this is very sturdy. Okay, okay, and okay. So now let's complete our cover. Let me take my bone folder, which should be here. Yes, here it is. And I'm adding some wood glue on the edge of it all. I am going to spread it and I'm going to fold the paper inwards. Wow, this is so sturdy. Thank you, Amazon, for the sturdy paper. So let's use our bone folder to help us just a little bit here in the middle. Okay. And let's press it down. Okay, and let's do the thing all around the edge of the book. And here we are again. So what I wanna do now is I want to color the inside of it, I know that it will make a huge difference, but just in case, I don't want the brown of the cardboard to show, so I am just quickly giving it some black color. Okay, so once this color has dried, we are going to glue the book and secure it to our super sturdy cover and let's see what comes out of it. So here we are. 
Now I took these two piece of black cardboard and I'm going to place them here to see. Yes, the measurement seems to be okay. So what I'm gonna do, I always use my packet of cigarettes to do this. So I'm going to have this kind of height. Okay. And what I'm going to do is to glue this cardboard on the inner part of the cover. I am using wood glue again. Okay. Well, in this moment I can actually wait for the packet of cigarette to help me. Okay, so let's place down our first piece of cardboard. Okay and fold it back where we need to which means at the end okay make sure to press it down very very well and let's do the same thing on the other side so the measurement seems to be okay here too so let's add some glue here too that should be more than enough. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to close this in a heavy book for a few hours to make the wood glue dry completely because I don't want to mess with the rest of the book. So, see you in a few moments or in a few hours. Okay, here we are. Everything seems to be pretty dry now. And I want to bring back my Mod Podge and my packet of cigarettes to have some depth and let's see how this book fits this cover well the spine is too large first mistake but but i don't care so i'm going to put some mod podge on the first page okay and I'll glue the first page let's try to center the book to this cover this edge is torn apart so I think that it's going to stick pretty well and let's wait for it to dry a little bit and then we'll be doing the same thing with the other side of the book okay now let's do the same thing here something is going terribly wrong with this so let's see how to fix it okay where's my bone folder right here and now let's do the same thing here parchment paper please glue this part too okay it 
seems that we have it. So just in case, like in my case, you want to get rid of the exceeding paper, the paper that comes out from the cover, you can tear it apart so that your pages are going to be even more irregular or you can fold some of the paper inwards Okay, Okay. so this is what I have come up with and to me this is an, a huge epic fail but I think that this booklet is now ready to be painted and decorated and whatever you want to do with it. So tell me what you think about this epic fail project in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And see you very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.